Right now, the U.S. is showing support for the people of Ukraine, Florida representing as dozens gather in Hallandale Beach, Florida, with signs of Ukraine flags and rallying showing support for the Ukrainian people and across the country in California. Large crowds gathering in Studio City, California Thursday night to show their support for Ukraine after Russia invades. And here at home, news of what is happening in the Ukraine is frightening and it's devastating for many Ukrainian Americans living here on the Sun Coast. ABC 7 taking a deeper dive now into the local reaction from those folks. There are some 5,000 Ukrainians living here in our area in Northport, and one of those local Ukrainians is Dr. Mike Yarimovich. He joins us now to give us some perspective on how Suncoast Ukrainians, like himself, are dealing with this crisis in their homeland. So welcome, doctor. No. So I want to ask uh, you, first of all, what, what are your thoughts when you see these images of war on TV and on the Internet of your homeland? Well, what you're seeing there is a, uh, a failed attempt by Putin to take over a, a, a democratic country. So you're going to see lots of unfortunate uh, uh, deaths, but however, there's going to be a Ukrainian uprising from all over the place. You know, as you've heard today, the people are being handed out Kalashnikovs by the thousands, and uh, they're going to judge uh, and he's, all those horseless invaders very, very uncomfortable. It's going to be a very costly invasion. But in, in, uh, so even, even if, uh, if Putin says he's going to install a puppet government, so what? What is the puppet government going to do with the whole country of 40 million or 45 million rebelling at him all over the place? Right. It's, it's, a, mess. it's a very yeah. tense situation. Yeah. Very tense situation, and I know this is a very sensitive topic. That's why I appreciate you coming on the show. I want to uh, pivot, though. You are a member. We're looking at pictures of other supporters around the, the country. You're a member of St. Mary's Ukrainian Catholic Church, and at this hour, a prayer for peace service is happening right now, uh, led by your father, Petrov, right? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, as a matter of fact, we've had prayer services for the last two or almost three weeks, almost on a daily basis. The church was uh, praying, uh, having services, and uh, like as we speak right now at 4 o'clock, we have a new uh, prayer service that's going on in, this, uh, in our Ukrainian church. This is Ukrainian Catholic Church, but there are other Ukrainian churches. There are next door, there is a, uh, a, a Baptist church, and then there is a uh, uh, Ukrainian uh, Orthodox church. We're all together praying for peace, and uh, Ukrainian solving. Right. And tell us about the demonstration that will happen at 5 o'clock. We're going to have uh, live pictures out there. We have a reporter that okay, will be on the scene. I, I, yeah, I hope you're going to have a uh, live picture. You will see You will see hundreds of Ukrainians, as you see in some other cities now. But this is down down the corner of, of on Biscayne and 41. And there's going to be uh, hundreds of us standing there with our placards, with our Ukrainian embroidered shirts with uh, with uh, posters saying uh, Putin go home and uh, the demonstration is going to be a tremendous support for the Ukrainian community here. And you, like many, uh, they a lot of the community members there, they're watching this video like this and they know that they still have loved ones abroad. They have family members, they have friends. How are you and your friends coping? Uh, with that, knowing well, that, and are you able? Are your are, is anyone able to talk to their family members right now? What are they saying? Well, uh, of course, they're 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 very very much worried. Uh, a very close neighbor of ours right here is has been. Uh, he, he is the uh, uh, he runs the uh, Orobio dealership near near Kiev, and uh, he's been sent, hanging in there all by himself. The family is gone. But he was going to be there all the time to support his workers and all this, and whether he is, uh, you know, to support uh, uh, the Ukrainian uh, in cause. So I believe this whole thing is going to turn out to be a big fiasco for Putin. He's going to be very, very sorry that he unleashed this dragon because that dragon is going to eat him alive. In, in your opinion, what is the best for Ukraine? In your opinion, as a Ukrainian. 
Well, the best for Ukraine is to, to get back to the normal situation there, but now we're having a, a, a independent nation for the last 30 years. Of course, we had an independent nation in the, uh, in, in the beginning of the past century when, when my, my father was fighting for Ukraine. And we've been doing this all the time. So we are Americans, but we don't forget where we are coming from or our homeland. And Ukraine has to be, got to be a very sophisticated, intellectual town. You've seen these, these cars coming out. This is no longer just, just uh, you know, a bunch of uh, uh, illiterate parent, uh, peasants. Ukraine is a very strong per, uh, country, and they, like to, they belong into NATO. They belong into the European Union. And so we'd like to have this unfortunate uh, uh, slaughter of people, but in the end, they're going to lose. Okay. Well, our thoughts are with you, and that's why we wanted to make sure you had a voice in this newscast and, and, oh. and future newscast. I know you want to get to that demonstration that's going to be happening soon. Oh. Maybe you'll be able to catch the last end of the mass with Father Petrov. Yeah. But I want to thank you, Dr. Mike Yarimovich. He's a rocket science, yeah. by the way. Rock, rocket scientist, yeah. by the way. Yeah, I, I, hope, <laughs> I, I, I hope put the man on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for. <laughs> but we can overcome. Yes, Thank positive you. thoughts. Thank you so much for giving us your time uh, yes. to talk about and this very Ukrainians, stressful situation uh, in Ukraine. For the Ukrainians, we say Slava Ukraini. Okay, you'll have to give me a tutorial on that. It's so nice to meet you. Take Thank care. You. Thank you. All right, ahead on ABC 7 News at 4, the update on the MLB and the